A man's body is contorted 360 degrees. Every bit of damage inflicted upon him results in the peculiar outcome of spewing out gold coins, essentially turning him into a walking human cash machine. However, those who utilize him are oblivious to the fact that along with the wealth comes a hefty price. Justin, who has just landed is waiting for his luggage at the airport. In the blink of an eye, the bustling airport turns eerily silent as Justin, in the midst of replying to a message, notices a suitcase arriving on the conveyor belt. Without much thought, he grabs the suitcase and heads home. Unbeknownst to him, the similar-looking suitcase isn't actually his. Soon, Justin is back at his place, and the seemingly ordinary suitcase on the floor starts moving. A voice pleading for help emanates from inside. Justin initially thinks it's a prank pulled by his roommate, Alex, only to realize that it's not. The voice is indeed coming from the suitcase. Alex here. Cautiously, he unzips it and is shocked to discover a contorted man filling the entire suitcase. Astonishingly, the man is alive. Turn my face out of my suitcase. With a baseball bat in hand, Justin approaches and, at the man's request, turns his head around. When questioned about his situation, the man cryptically mentions having offended someone he shouldn't have. Refusing medical assistance, he suggests that helping him out of the suitcase might be more useful. Though apprehensive, Justin, moved by the man's evident pain, reluctantly agrees. Unexpectedly, a bizarre scene unfolds. As Justin exerts a bit of force, the man writhes in pain, spewing out a gold coin from his mouth. Holding the coin in disbelief, Justin can hardly fathom the reality of the situation. The man confirms that the coin is indeed genuine, emphasizing that whenever he is harmed, gold coins emerge from his mouth. He assures Justin that all the coins produced during the process of getting him out of the suitcase will be his. However, faced with the tangible gold coin, Justin finds himself hesitating. Instead of releasing the man, he zips up the suitcase and places it in the bedroom, lying on the bed lost in thought. The next morning, to verify the authenticity of the gold coin, Justin heads straight to a pawn shop. After the owner's appraisal, it is confirmed that the coin is made of pure gold. The owner offers $300 for it and expresses willingness to buy any future coins at the same rate. With the money in hand, Justin promptly shares the story with his roommate Alex. Finding the tale incredulous, Alex, in a half-believing state, accompanies Justin back home. As they're about to open the door, Justin's girlfriend emerges in distress, having apparently seen the man in the suitcase. Misinterpreting the situation, she believes Justin has committed murder. Recall Justin's earlier statement, Alex rushes upstairs to the bedroom on the second floor. Opening the suitcase, he discovers the contorted man inside. Initially intending to check if the man is still alive, the man suddenly turns his head, startling both Alex and Carla. Assuming Justin is responsible for putting him in the suitcase, Carla confronts him, demanding an explanation. Justin, caught in an awkward position, explains that after landing, he brought the suitcase home, only to find a man inside it inexplicably. Upon hearing the situation, Carla decides to free the man from the suitcase, and Justin quickly joins in to help. However, as in the previous instance, the man, writhing in pain, once again spews out gold coins. Despite their efforts, every attempt to get him out results in more coins emanating from his mouth. Witnessing this, Alex finally believes Justin's story. Picking up one of the gold coins, he beckons Justin and Carla aside. Carla, curious about the man's predicament, questions why he turned out this way. But Alex, now fixated on the idea of coins flowing from the man's mouth, pays little attention to her concerns. Seeing the man's mouth continuously produce gold coins, Alex becomes fixated on the potential wealth. Disregarding concerns for the man's well-being, Justin's worries about the inexplicable situation and potential consequences, Alex, uninterested in the man's safety, zips up the suitcase and drags it to the staircase. Without hesitation, he kicks it down the stairs, causing a critical strike. The man expels a significant amount of coins in one go. Witnessing the abundance of gold coins, Carla and Justin, swayed by the allure of wealth, make an impromptu decision. They agree to leave the suitcase there for 48 hours and then release the man. In the subsequent hours, driven by greed, the trio resorts to various forms of torture to extract more gold coins from the man. They use mousetraps, extract teeth, deliver brutal kicks with high heels, and even employ a high-pressure electric machine. Quickly, containers of all sizes are filled with gold coins. As the man endures excruciating pain, Justin begins to worry about his well-being. They have already surpassed the agreed-upon 48 hours, but Alex and Carla, 
consumed by their insatiable greed, demand to continue the electroshock treatment. Clearly, the lure of money has clouded their judgment, and the man, resigned to his fate, expresses indifference to the escalating torment, stating that he feels he is nearing the end. Just as Alex prepares to continue, Justin immediately intervenes, attempting to stop him. However, Alex persists in trying to convince Justin of the newfound wealth and luxurious lifestyle they could have. He paints a picture of a life free from worries, complete with sports cars and yachts. Unfazed, Justin sees through the illusion. He desires a stable job, aims to achieve his dreams through hard work, and is unwilling to risk lives for it. He deems Alex and Carla insane. Justin's decision to call the police infuriates Carla. In a shocking turn, she smashes Justin's phone with a hammer and delivers a brutal blow to his head. Blood starts flowing from Justin's head, and he can hardly believe the brutality exhibited by his girlfriend. Staggering, he attempts to leave, but Carla, unrelenting, pursues him with the hammer, intending to finish the job. However, at the staircase, Justin accidentally tumbles down. Assuming Justin is dead, Carla and Alex prepare to extract the final fortune from the man. However, as they get ready to proceed, the man in the suitcase speaks. You naughty children. <laughs> His expression turns eerie, eyes gleaming with gold. He declares an intention to punish these two malicious individuals. Unfazed, Carla and Alex proceed to activate the switch, expecting more coins. To their shock, instead of coins, the man, now subjected to the electric shock, bursts into mad laughter. With an odd wind blowing and a mysterious smoke filling the room, a monster emerges from the suitcase. With a simple wave, more suitcases materialize, and then the room is filled with heart-wrenching screams. Fortunately, Justin miraculously survives. At his bedside is a bouquet of flowers with a card. The message seems to be from the monster, expressing surprise at Justin's kindness. As a reward, the monster promises to appear whenever Justin thinks of it, ready to help. Meanwhile, the man from the suitcase reappears at the airport, preparing to check in. This time, however, he brings two suitcases containing Alex and Carla. Although it's unclear where these suitcases will be sent, one thing is certain, the bizarre events will continue to unfold.